Good morning, everybody. We spent the night at Walmart. Not my favorite place to spend the night, but look at those trees are just starting to turn. Fall colors. Just in time for the snow to come. <laughs> um, yeah, and moist <clears throat> moisture is an issue when it's uh, cold outside and you're camping in a minivan. So we're just waiting for our, our windshield to defrost. Or it's actually not frost, it's just, again, moisture. <laughs> So, last night a big uh, fifth wheel pulled in and it had a, a bunch of snow on it and apparently he's left and it fell off and it's still on the ground over there. Big chunks of snow. I've seen a couple other vehicles come through the parking lot covered in snow also. So apparently it's snowing quite a bit, not too far from here. It did get cold last night here uh, in the low 30s, but we stayed pretty warm, luckily. I'm glad it did not snow here. I know it wouldn't have stuck because it, uh, during the daytime it, it's going to get up into the near 50, I believe. Still pretty cold, though. Chilly, chilly Colorado. Olive and I are at a dog park in Montrose, Colorado, and it is cold and rainy here, and it just keeps getting colder. So we came here to this dog park, and and really it's it's kind of more like a nature walk. There's just like a bunch of trails, kind of a different take on a dog park. Usually they're, you know, big open fields. This is kind of interesting. I think it's more interesting for Olive as well. She loves going down different trails. <laughs> she loves to explore. I've lost her. Olive. Oh, there she is over there. But anyway, yeah, so it's raining and wet. But, uh... And here, under trees, it's not so bad, and it's kind of lightened up, the rain. So it's still wet, but I can't keep Olive and myself in a minivan all day long. <laughs> and our other option is to, you know, go to Petco and walk around the aisles for 30 minutes. <laughs> Which I do occasionally do that, but Olive, uh, Olive really doesn't enjoy that very much. Yeah, so this is kind of cool. Lots of little trails. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, my feet are getting wet. I really wasn't thinking about cold, wet weather when I packed up some clothes in the minivan. <laughs> I have plenty of clothes that I can layer when I have my, my van, but all I brought was a regular hoodie and uh, kind of like a a jacket that's a little water repellent, not even, it's not waterproof, it, it gets wet. I mean, it, the water soaks through after a short amount of time. So, so I went to Target and I, not that this is like super fashionable or anything, but I bought this jacket on clearance for $20, which I think is a really good deal. It's, um, you see, can you see the water beading on it? So it's like waterproof, I think, up to a certain extent. And uh, I don't know, it's, it feels like it's well made and it's not warm because it doesn't really have a l much of a lining inside of it, but it's a good shell and I can, um, you know, the hood works well and everything can be kind of um, tightened up. There's, you know, strings to tighten everything. And, um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm lost in the dog forest. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy about a, my $20 purchase. Not that I have money to be clothes shopping right now, but I feel like it was needed and I can wear my hoodie underneath this and stay pretty warm.
everybody. It's a rainy day here in Col Western Colorado. At least it's not snowing. I'm going lower in elevation as we speak, going from Montrose to Grand Junction. And uh, it's a great day because my van is done. <laughs> At least they say it is. This hat is just completely falling apart. I, uh, yeah, I only brought this, well, I brought this hat and then my big, my big brimmed hat in the minivan here, so. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wear my big hiking sun hat in the, in the minivan. Uh, anyway, we so we're headed to Grand Junction, which is like a thousand feet lower than where we've been, and that is all right because that means there's no chance of snow or ice. Well, very little anyway. Ooh, rock. <laughs> shattered windshields. I just want it done. I want to be back on the road. I want to be out of a minivan, this minivan. So, fingers crossed that it is complete. Completed. And that I'm not going to have a, uh, any more problem down the road. So we just got out of the rain and there's a little bit of sun on the horizon. So I'm hoping that's a good sign and that my van is A-OK -okay, and we're gonna safely make it onward. Look, sun. It's been a little while. Looking forward to more. <laughs> Sunny Arizona, here we come. I'm in my van. Very happy. Moment of truth. I assume they wouldn't give it back to me if it didn't start. Woo, that sounded good. All right. <laughs> brand new transmission, brand new radiator, a myriad of other things. Olive is trying to get on my lap. Olive, why do you want to be on my lap? <laughs> Are you nervous to be back in your house? Now I'm used to the minivan, which is almost completely silent. I forget this is a bigger engine, more of a truck. It's a little noisier. <laughs> okay, but the moment of truth really is, it's not starting it because it started when I had it too. This thing got dustier, I swear. Maybe it's ash from the fires. It's been sitting here for weeks. Okay, so the moment of truth is actually driving it because <laughs> because I could start it up before I just couldn't get it very far. Okay. Wow, I'm not used to driving this thing. Weird. I, it drives differently. I mean, I guess I would have to expect it to drive differently. Or I'd hope it to drive differently. Well, I really have to get used to driving a van again. This van, anyway. I feel like, uh, like we're up in the sky. We sit so much higher than the minivan. Of course, I, it's, yeah. Obviously, uh, the transmission is working. It's brand new. So I'm bringing Olive to our favorite park here in Grand Junction. It looks like they're having some kind of something, some kind of gathering there. So this is usually where we would park, but we're not gonna park there. We'll keep going around. It's a big park. Can you see the mule deer? It's a 
whole bunch. A couple of babies too. Oh, <laughs> well, they're not babies, like juveniles. Olive finally saw them. We've been walking towards them for a while. She was in her own little world. Oh, there they go. They said, close enough. We're getting out of here. I hate reaching a campsite in the dark, but the sun just, well, the sun went down a while ago, but there was still light just like five minutes ago. And now it's almost black. But this is not supposed to be too hard to find. This is called Rabbit Valley, I think. It's Rabbit something. And uh, it's just off the highway. It's just kind of above the highway. Highway's right over there. Yeah, this is just for one night. I was going to stop at the, uh, the Welcome Center, the Colorado Welcome Center, but they only allow eight hours. So if I roll in there at eight o'clock, then I'm supposed to leave, uh, do the math, 4 a.m. <clears throat> That's not enough time for me to rest <laughs> because I'm not falling asleep until at least uh, you know, 11 o'clock. So we're gonna just go to this. Oh, oh, geez, going up a switchback. Testing on my new transmission already. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess it's on top of this bluff here. All right. The road is in good condition for the most part. Definitely some washboards. Washboarding here. Oh, wow, we're quite a ways up above the uh, highway now. It just keeps going. Okay. Let's see a little reflective sign up there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, it rained a little bit. There's a puddle. As you can imagine, I'm incredibly relieved to have my van back and that it's running well. And, uh, yeah, that, it, that was a weird month of my life. It, maybe it wasn't quite a month, but... Yeah, <laughs> just so happy to have my van back. And I am so sorry, van, my van. <laughs> For all the bad things I've said about you over the years, I missed you so much. Um, yeah, it's just such a relief to have it back. And I just feel so much safer as well. You know, Kelly always said that my van is intimidating, whereas a minivan like she has isn't like an easy target, I guess. Um, yeah, and I mean, maybe that's true, maybe it's not. I, I guess to see a tall, really tall van like this without windows, I don't know, you, you, you wonder like, oh, what's in there? Um, and if it's somebody wanting to do, you know, bad things, maybe that's a deterrent because they don't know what's in here. But a minivan, which is full of windows and it's low to the ground. Uh, yeah, it's kind of an, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I wasn't like thinking about that when I was in the minivan, but I was feeling it a bit because, you know, when I was with my friends, not so much because when you're in a group of people, you don't think about your safety quite as much. But when you're alone, which I had been on and off 
the whole time I had the mini then, uh, I definitely felt it. I, I felt um, not as safe. I think driving wise, this, the minivan was incredibly safe. It handled super well, but camping wise, eh, <laughs> uh, just kind of like one step above a tent, I think. <laughs> so I'm happy. I can just move on. Um, I love Colorado, but I'm so ready to move on from Colorado. Uh, Colorado is always rough on me. I love it, it's beautiful, it's rugged, and uh, every time I'm here, things go wrong. Um, and I'm on to Utah. I'm right on the border right now of Utah and Colorado. And yeah, off on to uh, sunny Arizona and hopefully less wildfires, less smoke. I don't know, California is like, the entire state is on fire, so maybe maybe Arizona is getting smoked too, I'm not sure. But I'm just so ready. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good night's sleep. I'm pretty sure I'm going to. <laughs> See you soon.